Well, hello everyone. Here I am at Big Lots for the second time ever. Well, the second time ever in Santa Fe, and actually the second time ever in a Big Lots store. So I'm just going to see what they have. I'm looking for some stores for my clothes, which uh, I'll tell you about later. That I found some, uh, found an old dresser in my by the dumpster yesterday, and. Uh, I was able to take, they were pretty clean, the drawers, so I was able to take a few drawers out of it and use it for some clothes storage. And I'm just going to see what Big Lots has, get some cat food. Um, and I just uh, just came from Dollar Tree, so uh, yeah, we'll see what they have in here. So this is the furniture section at Big Lots. I can't afford any of this today like a dresser which they have over here so nice bed I wish this was my bed um, oh. this is 79 it's a espresso nightstand that looks like a nice drawer that's yeah we have it right now 269.99 this right here that I'm putting at Storage. I don't know. Here's it's another nice dresser over there. This one's nice too. I don't know what that storage item is. How much it is? I can afford it. Forty nine nine. Hey, I can't afford it. Just not today. I went to Dollar Tree. Find a <laughs> card table or something. Oh, a tray table. There's a tray table over there. Hmm. Let's see how I can get around it. Uh, goes over here. I can't get, can't get to it. <laughs> Calories covers muscle and it's our entire mass section. Resistance flap bands. I need stuff for fitness. Huh. Need some uh, collagen protein powder. I think I'm gonna get this. Uh, I mean, I guess it's unisex, even though it has Mario Lopez on <laughs> it. I don't know how to use it. I don't have a resistance pain. Can't get that today. I don't know, maybe. No, it's $14.97. Slam ball. I don't really know what it is. Oh, yoga ball. Oh, I think I'm going to get this. It's a yoga ball for like $6.97. Okay. Well, seems, like, seems like a good deal. I don't really know. What is a slam ball? Wait a minute, do I have to pump this up myself? No, maybe I do. Is this a yoga ball? No, pump included? Oh, okay, well, if it pumps included, I guess I'll get it. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the food section. Well, hello, friends, I'm back. I am uh, doing uh, the first part of my, I, I would call it a mega haul between the two stores of Dollar Tree and Big Lots. Now, I filmed a little at the store Big Lots. I was looking for some furniture. Unfortunately, I really can't afford it today, but 
Uh, we're gonna have a moment. We're gonna have to shop around and uh, compare prices and things. I mean, we don't have a huge amount of options here in Santa Fe because uh, we don't have an IKEA even in the whole state of New Mexico. The uh, closest IKEA is six hours away in Denver, so I don't know about I don't know about making a road trip just for furniture, but you have to take it, carry it back and stuff in the car. Um, so I went to Dollar Tree. Excuse me, Dollar Tree at Big Lots today. Uh, this stuff I've got here is stuff from Dollar Tree. I was able to find some dry cat food for snack snack ease for Casey. Since I have some uh, ground beef in my fridge, I uh, thought I'd pick up a recipe magazine here. These are pretty th ooh. <laughs> these are pretty thin magazines. They're not like real huge ones, but um, they do have a lot of cool s or a lot of good stuff. I bought some of like the Dollar Tree uh, cooking magazines before. Uh, a storage bag for under the bed. A storage bag for under the bed. Two of them. <laughs> Now this I've been wanting for a long time. I think this says, I'm not sure what team this is. Oh, Houston or, no, I don't know what this is. Houston Texans maybe? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I can't see because the, la the label's still on. But uh, yeah, I needed neck pillows. So I actually bought two of them. And I think this is the Houston Astros. Um, these are just a little treat, some snakes, little snakes. I have been to the, well, that's another story for another day. I won't get into that. But in Santa Fe, they actually have this really unique museum. It is a museum, uh, more geared towards kids, but I've been there. I've been able to hold a python and a tarantula. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, it's called the Bug Museum. And I found these snakes there once and they were really, really cool. They were like real, like longer ones, uh, nicer ones. I don't know. More expensive ones. I don't know. Okay. Best health. Uh, this is for a cold, some cough drops. Wish I've already gotten into these pretzels here. <laughs> oh, I love pretzel rods. Uh, let me uh, put this here. Okay. Pretzel rods. I think that's all from the first yeah okay well I'll get to the second part of my haul I've got a lot and I mean a lot of stuff to to uh, that I that I bought today uh, I managed to stay under my 60 well I had $62 I managed to stay a little under budget for uh, this week uh, being that I did not do my regular grocery shopping on Tuesday just because I was having some uh, well, issues. I had to get some uh, some of that over-the-counter uh, pain medicine from Walgreens, so I I wasn't really ready to go grocery shopping. But I I did a little, like I went on Monday for or sorry Tuesday for a very mini haul because I had the money. But like thirty-nine dollars of that one hundred and twenty went to um what's it called? went to uh, the over-the-counter stuff for my uh, pain in my leg. Okay. Um, so I'll get to the second part of the haul. Let me see here what's in here. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh boy. Okay, I've got my hands full today here with filming. I will see you real soon. Hello, and this is the second part of my Dollar Tree haul. As you can see, it's not as big as the first part of my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I got some wet wipes, antibacterial wet wipes. I thought I had bought Two, picked up two, but uh, I can't find the other. Oh, here's the other one. These are the travel, the uh, travel pack 15. But I saw these, and these have 30. These are great for like just wiping your mouth after you eat, or just uh, cleaning your face in the morning. I don't know. Um, I did get this puzzle only because it's uh, cute. I like My Little Pony and it's only 48 pieces. I can't be buying these huge puzzles anymore because I don't really have a place to uh, make them. Uh, a table, I need to, yeah, when I'm, next time I go to Big Lots, which is probably going to be next Tuesday, I will uh, 
look into getting some kind of tray table or something or card table. Got myself some uh, LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Softener. Always have to have plenty of fabric softener on hand in my laundry room. Uh, Island Fresh Scent, LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Softener. Um, my favorites. This is Wild Orange. The Zo Natural Energy Drink. This is my favorite flavor, Pineapple Coconut. And this is Aroma Guru. I was going to put this in my uh, oil uh, wax burner or oil burner, whatever. You can put either wax melts or oils in it. So this is Aroma Guru Ready to Use Lavender. I didn't want to get two of them because I wanted to try it out and see if it works well and if I liked it before I uh, bought a second one. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, on to the big lots portion of my mega haul today. All right, I'll be back. Hello, I'm back everyone for the last portion of my haul. This is what I got at Big Lots. I did get some cat food. It's in a plastic bag. Uh, no use and uh, no need to take that out now. Uh, I'm going to feed my cat soon. He's already hungry again. Maybe I'll give him some dry food for a snack or something. A little snacky poo in the uh, Friday afternoon. Um, so the most stuff I got was a Dollar Tree, of course. It's the cheapest, but actually Big Lots prices aren't too bad. Um, our, well, to me, they didn't seem that bad. Um, like I, I was saying, um, I've only shopped, this, this was only my second time, like, ever. Not only just in Santa Fe, but ever shopping at a big lot. So, I was kind of, I, I guess prices were decent. Um, I spent less than 20 bucks. Um, got these Hormel Tamales Chicken and Chili Sauce. I'm going to try these out, see how they are. I might have them tonight. I don't know. I got so much food now. <laughs> but I like uh, Mexican food, and I want to try this uh, canned canned version of tamales. Uh, these are some off-brand of paper towels, but I actually got three of them to be well prepared. And uh, this... Now this is, it says Mario Lopez, it's a yoga ball, and it comes with a pump, and a pump included, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to pump it up. <laughs> and it had like one of those uh, slimming bands that goes around your waist now. Of course, that's, I think that's cheating for me anyway, I don't know. It didn't, I used to have stuff like, well, similar to that, uh, and um, it did make me look thinner, but, you know, I felt like I was faking it or something because I'm really just an average type weight uh, middle-aged woman. <laughs> okay, pump included. Yoga ball. Let's see. Uh, relax muscles, remove tension, or increase the overall tone of your... Yeah, I need to get toned. That's what I... I, I, I like having toned legs and I really need to tone up my legs, um, my thighs, my lower back, <laughs> oh, arms too, abdominals. Okay, yeah, so this looks good. I'm going to try it, see what involves. I'm sure it's not much work. I'm sure it doesn't take a rocket scientist. Okay, and last but not least, besides the cat food, which I got fancy feeds, they, were sh they have this major shortage. It seems like mostly on cat food more than dog food. Uh, from what I've noticed, but, um, yeah, so I got him some fancy feasts, these smaller cans, he tends to want to, want to eat more when he, when I give him the smaller cans, so that's why I bought a package of, um, of dry food at Dollar Tree, and these are Bush's Original Baked Beans, I just had a craving for these, I think there was some recipe that came up on my feed or in my notifications for uh, some kind of be baked beans or something, some recipe with baked beans. So <laughs> whenever it's like power of suggestion, I go out and buy what I see in these videos and stuff. So I wanted baked beans. I think I could make some chili or something with it. Although, I don't know, I never feel like eating chili as much in the summer. It seems like more of a fall winter food for me, but I could, 
I could work. I could make something up or something. I, I don't know, vegetarian chili maybe for a lighter for summer or something. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I uh, well the the big loss was in a is on in one of those strip malls, you know, at where near where the uh, Mexican market is, and across the street as we were pulling like out of the parking lot to the intersection with the stoplight. Um, I, uh, I spotted the, the Taco Bell, there's like three, I think, I believe three different Taco Bell locations in Santa Fe, or at least there were. This one looked like it had closed, except for like the, the big sign, you know, at the, in the parking lot in front or whatever. All the, it looks like all the signage on the front of the building had been stripped off, and I didn't really see any cars in there or anybody going through the drive through so I was wondering, oh my gosh, maybe, uh, maybe it's like, uh, someplace I could film, uh, Taco Bell, I don't know if it's closed, I don't know what's going on with that, but it appears, <laughs> it appears that way, so I might check it out next week, uh, thinking about it, it would be a long, a long trip for me, since I have to, I would have to take two, two buses to get there, but it'd be worth it, it, it would be a great filming opportunity, I would probably have to stand back, like, on the street to film it. I mean, I don't want to get, like, way too close or anything. I don't want people to get suspicious of me or, I don't know. You know, I just, I would have to be careful. Just be careful. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to check out that Taco Bell next week, hopefully. Uh, that's the first, I think, one of the very first, one of the very first, like, fast food chains I've seen closed in Santa Fe since the beginning of, like, COVID. Wait, no, there was a Krispy Kreme, and I didn't get to film that just because it, I didn't get there soon enough, and they were uh, putting another uh, store in or something where the Krispy Kreme was, so I didn't get a chance to uh, really explore that area that near Krispy Kreme, which is not, well, actually, it's, it's actually not too far from this, uh, what appears to be out of business or abandoned, whatever, Taco Bell. So, we do have two other Taco Bell locations, not my favorite uh, fast food, but um, we don't have a, they have a Del Taco up in es Española, New Mexico, 20 miles north of here, and uh, that's, that's better, that's much better than uh, Taco Bell, better quality food, um, they have fish tacos there and other stuff, and it's just, it's much better. But it's 20 miles north of here, and I think it's a, actually I think this chain came out of Southern California, the Del Taco, so, um, yeah, if I'm ever up in an Espanola area, I'll have to see if my dad will, uh, let me get a quick bite at Del Taco. Alright, well that's all for now, I will see you guys later, maybe I'll do a cooking video, maybe not, I don't know, I will see you guys all later, take care.